Uh, first of all, I would like to thank organizer to invite me. And uh, this talk is uh, going to talk about the uh, statistical mechanics of the assembly of the uh, particles activated by non-Gaussian noise. And uh, I'm a little bit afraid that this talk is not directly related to, to the large deviation theory. But uh, anyway, I would like to talk on the non-Gaussian noise. So uh, the, this is the contents of my talk. In, in the first part, I would like to talk about uh, uh, why non-Gaussian T is important. And uh, in the second part, I would like to talk about the mechanism to appear non-Gaussian noise because uh, textbook says uh, central limit theorem uh, must the non-Gaussian noise reduce to uh, uh, reduce to the Gaussian noise. So, but uh, how can we survive non-Gaussian noise is important issue. And uh, in the third part, I would like to apply such idea. Uh, the particle activated by non-Gaussian noise to apply the Gaussian di uh, glassy dynamics. And uh, in the fourth part, uh, I will talk on the many-body effect of non-Gaussian particles. And uh, finally, I will conclude my talk. Okay, so this is the Boltzmann. Boltzmann said that Gaussian is a heat test. So Gaussian is not so good for the non-equivalent statistical mechanics. And uh, also, we don't need a large deviation theory if we are in the world of the Gaussian. So, and uh, you can find a, a lot of uh, example in a non-Gaussian noise or non-Gaussian fluctuation. This is a uh, map obtained by the W map in uh, cosmological observation. So you can find a lot of the fluctuation which is characterized by non-Gaussian fluctuations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, double map is all, yeah, almost Gaussian. Sure, sure, sure. Almost flat, non-Gaussian is small. But uh, in some situations, non-Gaussian is large. For example, this, this, kind, this, this is a zip row, uh, which is a population ranking, so which satisfies the power row. So uh, it, in this case, non-Gaussian is very large. And uh, this is an uh, example obtained from the turbulence uh, as a uh, velocity difference between the uh, two separated positions. So if it, the probability distribution that such velocity difference satisfies the exponential law. But anyway, uh, you can find a, a lot of the example like in the granular material and earthquakes and grassy system or some other systems. And so uh, you can find a lot of the example. And this is an example obtained by the uh, observation of the crider dynamics, uh, which is also the uh, hopping distribution uh, defined by this one. So this is a, a position of the tracer particle at the time zero, and this is a position of the hopping particle at time t, tau. So this has a such uh, fat tail, which might be characterized by exponential tail. And uh, uh, this is uh, related to the, this famous picture, which has a, a, a local uh, diffusion, and uh, we, ha we have a uh, hopping between the two trapped centers. So, and uh, also, uh, this has uh, aging. You can find that uh, fat tail grows with time from the 960 second, 9,600 second, like this. And uh, of course, fat tail also depend on the volume fraction. So the, if the particle are denser, fat tail becomes a narrower. This is obtained by the experiment in this, in this paper. And uh, this is a, Another example uh, of the granular particles. 
So I don't think this. Oh, sorry, this works uh, by the hand. So, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. mouse point a point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a uh, not so. Uh, <laughs> sophisticated experiment, but uh, you can find the uh, vein in the central region, and there are many uh, granular particles which are excited by the vibration. So the uh, vein motion is a little bit asymmetric and uh, uh, activated by the Poisson uh, process. So uh, this, the mo motion of the, this vein uh, can be uh, uh, an example of the typical no uh, motion activated by non-Gaussian noise. So, and uh, uh, what does non-Gaussianity mean? So, uh, non-Gaussianity is the index of the how the system is in non-equilibrium state. And to know the non-Gaussianity is to know the non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. The to know the non-Gaussianity is to know the large deviation events. And because of the non-Gaussianity, rare events are important, like large deviation theory. That's, these are statements or motivation to, to, to study the uh, non-Gaussian noise. So let me move to the second part. So, based on the, this paper, and uh, so uh, because we have uh, the si system activated by the uh, environment, so the so environment make us some noise uh, because we are interested in the weak coupling between the system and the noise uh, environment. So, the in a uh, abstract form, the, the system can be described by this form, this equation, and it is a small parameter, coupling parameter. And uh, if we, the coupling is weak enough, the, this can be uh, regarded as a Markov jump noise. And uh, a single stochastic environment might be uh, characterized by the epsilon, uh, like a mass ratio, and uh, uh, the, we, to derive the Langevin equation from this coupled system, we may adapt the following three assumptions. The correlation from environment only appear in the friction form. So, and uh, uh, because of the, we are interested in the weak coupling system, the, the noise can be uh, regarded can be regarded as uh, white noise, and uh, this third assumption. So, the, if we are interested in the non-Gaussian noise, we needed to remove such third assumption. So, of course, if the, we have only one environment, it is impossible to remove the central limit theorem in the uh, epsilon zero lift. But if we have it, two reservoirs in the system, we can do such things. So if the one is an equilibrium bus and another one is a non-equilibrium bus or a summer noise uh, by using the Poisson process or something. So this is a FD and this is a, a summer horse. So these are these are might be characterized by these equations, and the small parameter appear in the in the coupling between the uh, SMR noise and the system. So, and this is not small. That is the related to the third assumption. So, and uh, these two assumptions are essentially the same, but uh, from the uh, as. A, the previous assumption that we coupling and the coexistence of summer and the summer noise, and we can uh, <clears throat> we can uh, have a scaling. So this script T is epsilon uh, independent, and we have a large friction uh, in in this region, and gamma, gamma is independent of epsilon. So from weak coupling assumption, noise becomes white as the 
as the previous case, but uh, because we have uh, two noises and we, one of the uh, friction is not so small, we can derive the non-Gaussian Langevin equation from this set of equations. Uh, to, to, uh, um, instead of the using the mathematical derivations, uh, we, we, I can show you the uh, uh, schematic view to, uh, to obtain the non-Gaussian noise. If the, we have only one coupling, uh, even when the, we, ha we are coupling between the system and the thermal environment, uh, if, this, but we, if we are interested in the long-term behavior, a long time observation of the motion of the this guy, <clears throat> the tracer is affected by many agitation of the fluctuation because of the weak friction. So that after the long time observation, we cannot distinguish such fluctuation from the Gaussian fluctuation. So, and uh, in the long time limit, uh, the noise behavior can be reduced to the Gaussian like this. But if we have it. Two, two environments, and so the, we can have a separation of the role of the, this guy and the, this guy. For example, uh, a summer noise for example, uh, is uh, regarded as a person noise, so that is a rare event. So we, we have an impulse, big impulse from this, this guy, so the, there is activation or fluctuation like this. And uh, the summer noise is a, a continuous kicking of the system by the small amplitude. So that, 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 that is important or responsible for the uh, dissipation or relaxation process. So there is no fluctuation dissipation relation because we have a two, two noises and the separation of the law of the fluctuation and the dissipation if we have uh, two noises. Uh, v is velocity, yes, for example. But uh, you don't have to uh, focus on the velocity itself. Okay, so and uh, there is a mathematical statement for the levy or decomposition of the stochastic system. So, in any levy process can be decomposed into the summation of the Brownian motion and the compound, compound Parsons process. So that is a, consistent with the previous picture. Actually, the Brownian means the Gaussian equilibrium fluctuation, and the compound Parsons process is nothing but non-Gaussian summer fluctuation. So we we must have, if we are interested in the levy. Uh, process, we needed to have a, such combination of the Gaussian and the non-Gaussian, or uh, Brownian and the Poissonian. That is a mathematical statement. And so if we have only Poissonian noise, it is reduced to Gaussian noise after a long time goes on. And uh, when we have a lot of the uh, Gaussian and non-Gaussian noises, this can be uh, reduced to the, the one Gaussian and the no, another uh, non-Gaussian noise. So that is a, a kind of the enumerated picture of the non-Gaussian system. So even when we have a, a lot of the uh, noise source, the, system, the final form it has a, this kind of the uh, home for the uh, normal uh, scaled probability distribution function. So that that part is a, a, a focal plank type equation uh, represent the uh, pro activation and the dissipation process from the Gaussian part or equilibrium part, and uh, this jump process represents the uh, contribution from the non-Gaussian or Parsonian part. So W represents a scaled uh, jumping probability or hopping probability of the particles. 